Hi, on today's episode of The Win It Minute, we're gonna meet two people making an impact in the local community by teaching children to have a love of learning. And we're gonna see if the teacher can beat the student in the Fox and Socks Challenge. So come on, join us. Hi, we're here with Erica Sapienza and Nina Quinn of the Above and Beyond Education Team. And they're making an impact in West Orange County, you know, Windermere, Winter Garden, Claremont area by teaching a love of teaching the children and getting them to be interested in education. You know, first, you know, what inspired you to start Above and Beyond and what inspired you to get into education? I, so we're here yeah, first. <laughs> so I started the team um, two years ago. Um, basically, I had families in the community just asking me to come out and work with their children. Um, it got to the point where I was just getting phone call after phone call, and at that point, I had to take on more, more teammates. Um, so we hired about 10 tutors now that work with us, um, and we're all in Claremont, Winter Garden, like you said. Uh, we're going out to Windermere as well, so we're expanding right now. And I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, then my son came around and I stopped, and now I'm just kind of filling my void, and I met a new best friend. <laughs> I'm meeting all different families across town and falling in love with the whole Winter Garden area. Wow, awesome. Yeah. So what is your favorite part about teaching? The one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, definitely. The one-on-one. -on -one. Seeing the child grow and just be interacting with the families. I mean, yeah. we're in the house in the home so much that we, you know, we get to know their life, we know what's going on. Um, we know their birthdays, yeah. what, <laughs> when their games are, what they're doing this weekend, everything. Yep. My, my big question, how do you make education fun? I think it's just playing games with them yeah. and like encouraging them. And they, your voice. Yes. You know, what you bring to the table. If you're going to be monotone, they're going to be bored out of their mind, but you got to make it more exciting for them. Oh. And it helps them retain the information. Energy. energy. Yes. Oh yeah, energy for sure. Yeah. You have to wait. Yeah. And it's for an hour. So you got it's kinda of putting on a show for a whole hour. <laughs> so it's like show business. It's show business. <laughs> show business. Yeah. Education is show business. Education I like that. Show business. Thing. I was I wanted to be a teacher since day one. Um, love working with children, always have. Um, love being in the school. Um, but there's just too many there's too many kids in the classroom mm -hmm. these days. So the one on one you get so much more out of it mm -hmm. and see the children grow. And seeing their light like yeah. their face light up like when they get it. Like they get the concept. The kids like, oh I got it. Like and just having them like greet you at the door. They're yeah. so excited to see you when you get there. They're willing to work. Mm -hmm. I mean the families love it. And they success. Yeah, you know. They're like low starting, now they're high on the progress reports. So right. I'll take that any day. I love the photos yeah. that the parents will send you of mm -hmm. the progress reports mm -hmm. and they're like, look, they're they're, yeah. on, they're on grade level. They're yeah. back to grade level. I mean, just the excitement from them. I've noticed definitely a change in my son after uh, meeting with uh, one of you and learning. He's, he's so engaged afterwards that he actually talks to me. So I, <laughs> I don't know if that's a level of that, yeah. that what you yeah. do, you're getting yeah. excited yeah. Or, or what, yeah. but I, I really I really notice a change in their thought process yeah. uh, after a teaching session. I have students waiting at the door for me. Yeah. You know, they're like, they're excited. They yeah, want to they're so there. exciting. So. We've well, even got a special <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Are you ready for the Fox and Socks yes, Challenge? Yes. Student versus teacher? Yes. All right, let's Do go. It. Well, is the, is the teacher ready to take on the student in the one. Fox and Socks Challenge? Maybe. Are you ready? We got it. Let's yeah. go. Fox, Socks, Fox, Knox. Knox in Fox, Fox in Socks. Knox on Fox in Socks in Fox. Socks on Knox and Knox in box. Box and socks on box on Knox. Chicks with bricks come tricks with blocks. Yeah. I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. In there a new trick, Mr. Knox. And there's a, yep, you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Box, socks, box, knocks, knocks in a box, box in a sock. Knocks on a, first I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a win. quick trick block stack, and can make a quick, you can. <laughs> box, socks, box, knocks, knocks in box, knocks in box, box and socks. Right out! Box. Mm -hmm. You might be making <laughs> All right, Adrian, your turn now. <laughs> You ready? Go. Box, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, box in socks. 
knots on fox and socks and box. Now we come to ticks and talks. So try to say this, Mr. Knox. So clocks on fox, tick clocks on Knox talk. Six, 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 six. Oh. Tick, so, six, six, chicks, talk. Remember, if I do it, I still don't know that. <laughs> Please, so, I don't like this trick, so, I, my, my tongue isn't, I guess, all those trick, ticks, <laughs> and clocks, yeah. so, mixed up with, done. <laughs> ah, ah. Hey, do you like this? Oh, yeah! <laughs>